hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to edit the values of variables in the debug mode in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop we have got an update where you can modify the values of variables for that what we will do is we will drag a set variable action and we will name it as first name and here we will give the value as mark right and i will drag another variable which is last name and the value which i am going to give is Taylor then i will click on save now what i will do is i will put a breakpoint here and then right click on first name and run from here and let's search the variable which is first name right so here you can see that the variable's value is first name okay now if i have I want to modify it i can make it as peter and then click on save you can see the value of this variable has been changed to peter however when we ran the bot first it was mark now we can now we have modified it to peter right if you double click again on the variable you see there is an option of wrap text so let's understand what is the use of this for example, if you want to put a lot of, you know, data, so this is how it is going to look like. But if you want to break it down into new lines, then you can click on wrap text, right? So the moment you will click on wrap text, it will come to the new line. And if you click on save, so the value will be set. Now let's click on run next action and let's check the value of the variable which is last name so here you can see that it is Taylor right consider that you have a if condition where you want to check the first name you want to check if the first name is Peter right the first name is Peter then what I want to do is I want to show the message which is your name is and the variable name which is first name you can manually type the variable name also you can choose it from here which is first name okay and you can click on close the message box automatically if you want to and also you can choose this option which will keep the message box always on the top i will click on save and let's run the bot so what is going to happen is first time it will not be a true which means the outcome of this comparison is not going to be true that means the if block is not going to be executed let's say you had a scenario where you want to test your bot you know without running it multiple times for example now this time what is going to happen is it is having the value as mark as you can see here correct now let's change it so that we can test whether our condition is working properly or not so i'll make it better now if i click on run next action you will see that it is able to is able to display the message because we have changed the value of this variable and now the value is peter and that is why it has come inside to display the message box now if i click on ok our execution will be completed and what will stop similarly you can also modify the values of a data table 
for that what we are going to do is I am going to read uh, data from Excel so what I will do is I'll go to the Excel and here what I will do is I will take a dash to running Excel right and for that what I will have to do is I'll have to specify the name of the file so I'll open the file you can see that the file is open now what I want to do is I need to specify the file name along with its extension right I'll go back to the power automate desktop and from here what I will do is I'll just click on this drop down Just click on this drop down and you can select the name of the file along with the extension. You, you can modify the instance, so I'll keep it as Excel instance. And now, what I will do is I will take a read from Excel worksheet. And in this case, what I will do is I'll say read all the values from the worksheet. And the data table is going to be Excel data. Now this time what I want to do is I will run the bot from here because my file is already open so I do not need to launch it again using launch excel action and I can directly read the data. Since I want to see if I am able to modify the values of the data table while the bot is running in the debug mode what I will do is I will drag it down here and put a breakpoint so that it is still running in the debug mode. I will right click on the test to running Excel and say run from here. I will clear this search variable and look for Excel data which is already on top and select it. Now here you can see that you have we have read all the data from the what if I want to modify it since as you can see that the first row is having the column name and reason behind that is because we did not specify in the read from Excel worksheet that the first row is having the column names so I'll check this one and then I will click on save and run the bot again And as you can see again, we have read all the data. And if I want to modify it, I can make it as mark. Let's say I want to change the last name so I can make it Williams. Right? Same thing we can use here if you want to wrap the text. If you do not want to wrap the text, you need to uncheck it. Right? So this is how you can modify the values of the data table. And Similarly, you can also modify the values of the list. For that, what we have to do is we need to go to the variable section, and from here we need to we need to use this action which is a retrieve data table column into a list. And here I need to specify the data table, which is Excel data. Right? This is the variable which is holding the values and here I need to specify either the column name or I need to specify the index. So let's say I will give it as first name since we have that as a column name in the data table. I will click on save and then I will right click and say run from here. Now let's look for the variable which is column as list and here you can see that you have the data in the list type right so this is the first name which is available here and if you want to modify these values you can modify it in the debug mode. So this feature will help you 
to fasten your debugging while you are finding out the issues in your board so this is how you can modify the values of the variables in power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day